Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain of Steve's, and today, chums, I'm going to be jumping over onto Nexus Mods, and I'm going to be picking a couple of mods and showing you which ones I'm selecting, and tell you why I'm selecting them, and I'm going to be putting them into my PC save, and I'm hoping to bring episodes of my PC save, and doing little mini exercises, and getting it all the way up to the same sort of standard as my PlayStation 5 save, and hopefully you can join me on that adventure. Anyway, let's jump on over onto the old PC world, and we're inside of Nexus Mods. So, one of the mods that I want to try and find is one that's going to speed up the learning of languages, including the Atlas language. I mean, in fact, the Atlas language is my top priority, to be fair, people. So let's, let's get into this, shall we? Let's remove that cup over there. Right, okay. Let's uh, key in Atlas first. Let's see if it comes up on there. Atlas. Brilliant. Now, somebody has told me that there's one called word Arama, which is probably the best one to go for. I don't like these little freaking ads that keep popping up all the time. That's blinking annoying, isn't it? Common Traveller for Atlas. Okay, there's quite a lot there. Hold on, was that, was that Atlas words? No. Okay, right. Well, let's, let's try again. Let's try Rama. And let's see if we can just find the one that I've been told about. Atlas Orb Word Arama. All floors on the actual atlas floor will teach words. Brilliant. That's a good one. Okay, well, let's... um. Can I can I download that one? No, okay. So you just hit it here. And then I just hit manual download. That can go to my downloads folder. Lovely jubbly. And you can tell that I don't do this often. <laughs> okay, right. Well, I, I just want the free one, if that's okay. And I don't want this advert. Ah, go away. All right. Continue to download. Mm, I don't think that's what I need to click. What do I bloody click to get it? Okay. Um, choose from the option. Well, there's nothing to bloody click on. All right. Okay, fine. I guess I've got to log in then. Uh, right. There. Okay. Bear with me, people. Okay. Here we go. Slow download. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. And you can donate if you wish, but you know, sadly not able to do that at this point in time because I'm going for a whole freaking batch. Okay, so now let's try putting in words. Let's see if we can learn more words. Yeah, here. So can I just hit download there? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? No, you have to actually click into it. A mod that increases the number of words learned by knowledge stones. Okay. At this one, more words increased by the amount of words from NPCs, Knowledge Stones, Encyclopedia, Monoliths, and Atlas Orbs. That's the one that I freaking want. Heck yes. Awesome. Let's jump into that then. And let's download that one. Pow. And slow download. Thank you very much. Coolio. Boom. Okay. And... I also want to come across those lovely majestic Diplos. I think it's called Dap. Daplodicus. That's the one. That's the one I want. So I want to add those into my game. It'd be nice if we can come across those majestically out there in the, the wild. You can't scan them. It doesn't add them to your catalogue or anything. But it's just a chance to see them. At least it's going to make my exploring a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to get that one as well. Lovely. And I also want to increase the chance of getting an S-Class freighter. Um, so let's see if that's a thing. S-Class. Uh, okay. Um, let's just try class. Let's see if we can find the, the chance. All ships, freighters and multi-tools S-Class for beyond. Brilliant. That sounds good. Okay. All ships and freighters. When was this one last updated? 2019. Oh my days. Okay. All right. All ships, freighters, and choose either ship types or just the type of freighters, exotics. I just want one that I don't have to adjust. I'll go for, I'll go for this one. we will go for this one. It's the same author, so hopefully it's all fine. Download that. Chikaboom. And hopefully that's going to make things easier to find as S-Class. Nice. Uh, is there anything else that I really... Really don't like the grind on all that much. You know what? I think I can probably cope with the rest and by just swapping the game mode over. Oh, something I want is the um, you know when you warp, it creates that. It, it makes the stream go all ugly. Um, let's have a look. Warp. I want the one that reduces uh, unidentified warp, full screen warp. No, I want the one that you know makes it less 
pixelated when you're streaming basically is the one I'm after I don't know which one that is though people Doctor Who TARDIS warp no okay well actually it's pulsing isn't it it's when you pulse it's not when you warp it's when you pulse so here we go pulse reduce pulse speed lines that's the one that I probably want that's the one that's probably causing issues when I'm streaming so we'll manually download that one too right there we go I've downloaded all my mods now I'm going to unpack those mods and put them in the relevant folder inside of my actual game okay so I'll be right back people okay right well it looks like I've already got the Daplicus one in and space station type B's so that's not too bad so now all I need to do is put this sort of text file in there boom to enable those mods take that one out not that I need to really put it there it doesn't really overly matter and then what I need to do is just put in the other ones that I want so I want this one just a pack file so I'm just going to copy that paste it into here lovely jubbly go up a level or back a level go into more words get that one my pack file copy that paste it into here lovely job and up a level the duplicus i've already got it in there i don't know whether this one's oh this is 1.5 so here we go let's copy that and get rid of the 1.3 pow i'm gonna put this one in there lovely go back up and atlas orb and we get that pack file lovely jubbly and put that in here as well now the space station type B's, I think that's roughly around the same time as what we're seeing over here. Anyway, March 2023. I don't know whether that one's going to work. I think they've actually removed the folder with the space station type B's. So I think that might not work anymore, to be fair. Or if it does, there's probably a lot more that I've got to do to it than um, I've done. So I don't know whether that one's actually going to work. But we've enabled the mods anyway. And we'll see how we get on with that, people. So, coolio. Alright, so next time I fire up No Man's Sky, hopefully those mods are going to be active. We'll give it a go. Right, chums, well, I'm inside of game, and I think I might have enabled the wrong area. Yeah, I don't think you enable it inside the mods folder. I think there's a text file that's outside of the mods folder that you have to put it on, because these are still the old space stations. I just hit up the multi-tool cabinet inside of the Nexus, and they're not enabled, I don't think. I'm just going to check the cabinet here. If it's not enabled, I need to exit the game and change the file location of where I put that text file. All right, let's just jump on out of the ship. And uh, let's go and have a quick look. See? That was the old mezzanine up here. Let's go check the cabinet. But I bet you it's not an S-Class. And let's check. It's a B. So, yeah, I don't think I enabled it correctly. So I'm just going to... Well, I've already just jumped out of the ship and created a save. So I'm going to exit out. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to double check where I actually enabled that. Sorry. Quite new to all this modding stuff. Yes. Okay, jump some inside of here. And it just says disabled mods. I mean, what you can do is you can just rename this and just put it to enable mods enable mods from disabled mods you know but um i have got it in here enable mods there we go i don't think it needs to be case sensitive i think that should do the trick now people now, i've got a load of other pack files here and i really i think you need them in the mods folder i think these are the ones that are enabled i think i hope i've at least if i'm interpreting the guides right that's correct all right well I guess it's a case of firing up the game again. I'll see you back in game. Here we go, chums. This is more like it. It actually came up with a screen saying, You appear to be running a modded version of No Man's Sky, blah, 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 blah. Yes. Okay. We didn't see that last time, so that's that's a good sign. Right, it takes me literally freaking days to sign into the game. So um, I'll see you in the game. Okay, well, I'm back inside a game. Let's go check the cabinet again. Let's see if that mod has worked. We can assume that if this mod has worked, then pretty much all mods have worked. So there we go, let's go on in. It's still a C class. Alright, maybe it just ups the chance then? Well, I mean, we can go and speak to an individual over here and see if we learn more words off of them. Let's go see if that's an actual thing. Alright, 
Now, I don't know how many words we're going to learn from one interaction, but as long as it speeds it up a little bit, I can kind of live with it. Hello, mate. Yes, I'm after learning some words, please. Teach me a word of your Viking symbologies. I've learned the word for warrior. Okay. Um, that looks like I just learned one word. It didn't look like I learned a whole caboodle of words, did it? Righto. Oh, hold on. I'll just pop the milestone up. So, so I've learned 20 words. All right. Well, that that that's kind of nice. It only popped up with one on the screen, but that, that's pretty darn nice. All right. Anyway, let's let's talk to him and let's see if the ships that are flying in are an S class. Maybe it only is, affects the ships that are flying around or something. Let's have a look. That's a C class. I don't think that one has overly worked. Let's go talk to another individual up here and let's see if I learn a shed load of words. Hello, mate. I wish to learn a word, please. Okay, request dialect help. I mean, it, I, I expected loads to pop up on screen, you know? Learnt friend. Okay, cool. Right. I really don't know whether these mods are working or freaking not working at this, this point. Let's fly out and look at the station and see if the station has actually worked. I mean, we've got the screen to say that we've enabled the mods. So who freaking knows, mate? Alright, let's fly out of here. Let's have a look at the old station behind us. Are you the new station? Ah! <laughs> the space station is invisible. So it looks like the mods are working. <laughs> it can't bring in the new space station bees. So this is what they look like now. So I'm going to have to take that mod out. But yeah, that seems to be working. We'll go down to a planet and we'll try a knowledge stone, people. I'll see you down at the planet's surface. On the way to a planet, though, oh, look, I'm pulsing. That one works. Heck yes, there's no sort of pulse lines. Brilliant. Okay, well, let's uh, fly on down to the planet like I was planning. And let's see if we can find a knowledge stone down here, shall we? And we'll see if we learn more words from a knowledge stone. Because at the moment... That's the one that I, re I really want to be learning more words in the Atlas and also hitting up knowledge stones at the very least. I mean, talking to actual residents would have been nice because, of course, we've got all the new autophages. And I would like to learn the autophage words a lot quicker. It doesn't seem to be that there's a more recent mod, so there is that. Oh, this is a lush planet. It's going to have a chance to have one of those lovely diplos on them. Now, there's a knowledge stone right in front of my ship. Luck be had it, people. Let's go see if I learn a load of words from this. So this is the first one that I've hit up, you see. Okay, accept knowledge. It just says I've learnt the word for the. I was kind of expecting a whole load to flash up. But if I go into logs, if I go into the wordage... I was trying to find the dang thing now, so here we go, let's go over here. Words collected for Gek, let's have a look. So how many words do I bloody know? It says here that I only know three or five words learnt. So let's go and hit on up another knowledge stone over here, and let's see how many words... Because if it goes to four, it obviously hasn't worked. I might have to find a more recent mod for it. Let's go and have a look. Boom. I just learnt the word for I. And the lo Ah, there we go. It's working now. Look, it picked up a load. So the first one didn't work, but it looks like I'm learning three words per knowledge stone. I was kind of hoping for ten. <laughs> Being a bit greedy. But, you know, if, if, if it's working, it's working. Let's go on over over here. Let's try this one over here. Let's see if it learns me another three words, which would be pretty darn nice if it does. I mean, this, this planet seems like it might be quite abundant for knowledge stones. There we go. It's working now. Brilliant, eh? Okay, so maybe I just need to activate each knowledge stone for each race before it starts working. But that seems to be working okay. So the only one I need to remove out, I think, is the actual space station one. Because at the moment, the space station one isn't working. And I'm not 100% sure if the S-classy type one is working. So I might try and find another mod for that. But I think we're getting there, people. I think these mods are sort of taking shape. So, yeah. Well, I'm fairly happy with that. Cool, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's, let's go to end on off, people.
So there we go, people, inside the viewerverse. That is how you can install mods in a roundabout way. I mean, yes, you know, with, with modding stuff, there's always going to be some teething issues. And I've got a couple of those. So I'm going to make sure that I've got all those fixed for the next time I'm going to be doing a live stream. So on Mondays and Tuesdays, I usually either do a premiere or I do a live stream. I'm going to be doing that and it's going to be on my PC save. And we're going to try and get my PC save to a point that it kind of marries up to where I am with inside my PlayStation save. Is what I'm thinking, people. So hopefully you can join me for that. And um, we've also got Dragon's Dogma 2 coming to the channel in March. So very excited for that. But hopefully we're going to get something new in way of update or expedition for No Man's Sky in the next you know, month or two. Well, we've got another four weeks or three weeks running on this current expedition though, haven't we people? So who knows? Anyway, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Salute Mondo. Cheery bye.